The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra is the biggest smartphone in every dimension. In fact, it's not far off from the Samsung's recently released Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The Mi 10 Ultra is heavy and can be cumbersome if you don't have big hands and deep pockets. Xiaomi went with a glass sandwich design with aluminum rails and carved glass on both sides. On the front, there's a full-size display with a punch hole in the top left and a speaker grill above the glass. The Mi 10 Ultra is not IP certified, which is unfortunate. Other phones at this price point, particularly those from Apple and Samsung, offer protection from water and dust. Xiaomi opted for a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus 120Hz OLED panel instead of a Quad HD Plus screen. At this price, I don't think this is a problem given there are many amazing tech that's packed into the device. The panel is smooth and fast as well as vibrant with deep contrast. If you don't like the excellent adaptive color setting, you can change it in the comprehensive display settings menu. Brightness was quite good even under direct sunlight, the Mi 10 Ultra was easily viewable. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra skips the fresh Snapdragon 865 Plus in favor of the regular 865. Either way, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra is very fast. I didn't have a single performance problem in my week with this device. I played lots of games, took many photos and did a lot of multitasking. I just couldn't get the Mi 10 Ultra to stutter. I think it's fair to say that whatever you do on your phone will be light work for this device. It comes with 8, 12 or 16 GB of RAM depending on the variation. Camera wise the Mi 10 Ultra comes with a quad camera setup. There's the main 48 megapixel main camera, a 20 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 12 megapixel portrait camera and finally a 120x ultra zoom camera. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra takes punchy and contrast heavy images with a fair amount of dynamic range. This device seems to be able to capture white balance well. On dull days the phone took dull photos, on bright days the phone took bright photos. The Mi 10 Ultra's biggest photography feature is its zoom functionality. Samsung offered 100x zoom in the S20 Ultra but the Xiaomi is offering 120x in the Mi 10 Ultra. I found the Mi 10 Ultra's night mode to be one of the worst I have ever encountered on a flagship smartphone. It struggled with flares, captured very little detail and was overall rather disappointing. On the front there is a single 20 megapixel camera for selfie duties. The Mi 10 Ultra takes some decent selfies but there is a fair amount of skin smoothing going on. Selfie portrait mode photos seem to look rather realistic. The Mi 10 Ultra's video is average at best. It's got 8K video at 24fps alongside the standard USD 60fps mode. There's also a 960fps slow motion mode. On the surface, the Mi 10 Ultra's battery is an average size for this class of smartphone. It's a 4500 mAh cell in a device with 5 cameras, a power handy chipset, and a big high refresh rate display. Xiaomi's software, however, works aggressively in the background, killing applications and optimizing power users to deliver good battery life. The device charged from 0 to 100% in just 21 minutes in our testing. It includes 120 watt fast charging, it also comes with 50 watt wireless charging and 10 watt reverse wireless charging. OnePlus has added the best display it's ever made on the 8 Pro and the Chinese company says it's the best screen you will see on a phone for 2020. It is a 6.78 inch fluid display with a 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 Plus support and QHD resolution. The OnePlus 8 Pro features a circular punch hole camera cutout in the top left corner of the screen. The OnePlus 8 Pro is the first handset from the brand to carry an official IP rating which means it's officially protected against dust and water. The phone features Qualcomm's top-of-the-line Snapdragon 865 chipset which comes with Qualcomm's X55 5G modem to enable super-fast internet speeds where 5G is available. The OnePlus 8 Pro packs 4 rear cameras including a 48MP main camera with a 1.78 aperture. There's also a 8MP telephoto camera with a 3x optical zoom and ultra-wide 48MP camera with a 119-degree field of view and a dedicated 5MP color filter camera that lets you apply artistic filters as you are shooting. The OnePlus 8 Pro's main 48MP camera and wide-angle shooter take sharp and vibrant shots, especially in outdoor lighting. The dynamic range and color accuracy is great. In addition to that, the camera's 3x lossless zoom can take pictures without losing detail. It can also digitally zoom up to 30x, but the photo quality really degrades at this level. The camera can also shoot 4K video and has optical image stabilization. 
On the front there is a single 16 megapixel selfie camera which delivers stunning quality. Overall the OnePlus 8 Pro cameras are a big improvement over the camera setups found on the 7 Pro and 7T Pro. The OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a sizable 4510 mAh battery which is the biggest OnePlus has ever put in a handset. The OnePlus 8 Pro could comfortably last a day on a single charge with typical uses including gaming, video playback, social media, messaging, video calls and photography. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is the best smartphone available right now. It's a big phone that's designed for big hands and it takes the very best of what's on the smartphone market and puts it together in a compelling package that we have loved testing. The Super AMOLED 6.4 inch display has been measured as the very best around, with super colors, great dynamic range and essentially the very best viewing experience you can have on a mobile phone. The default resolution is Full HD+, but you can crank it to QHD+, and it's very sharp, with HDR10+, for superior contrast and color. That's a very important feature if you are a movie watcher on your phone. Plus, there's a fingerprint scanner embedded in the display. The battery life on the Galaxy S10 Plus is an improvement over the S9 Plus, thanks to the larger 4100 mAh battery inside. It will easily reach bedtime with double digits still left in the tank. The S10 Plus also offers Samsung new wireless power share, allowing you to wirelessly charge other devices on the rear of the handset. The back has a triple lens camera that takes normal telephoto and new ultra-wide photos. You can capture more of what's in front of you without having to take few steps back. The Galaxy S10 Plus is packed full of the best Samsung has to offer and it comes together to give you the best smartphone experience around right now. The Vivo X50 Pro comes with a 6.56 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with a punch hole cutout and 90Hz refresh rate. This model supports HDR10+. The phone also comes with an in-display fingerprint sensor for security. It is powered by the Snapdragon 765G chipset coupled with 8GB of RAM and 128GB or 256GB of storage options. As for the cameras, the X50 Pro features an AI quad camera setup with a 48MP Sony IMX598 primary sensor, a 13MP Samsung lens, an 8MP Omnivision telephoto lens, and lastly, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. On the front, it has a 32 megapixel Samsung GD1 sensor for selfies and video chats. The Vivo X50 Pro features a gimbal system for image and video stabilization. The X50 Pro packs a 4315 mAh battery and supports 33W fast charging. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro look very similar with the screens that carve at the edges and that are broken up by punch hole cutout cameras in the top left of the display. On the back there's a camera bump in the top left corner. These phones have a 6.67 inch OLED screen with HDR10 plus support and a screen refresh rate of 90Hz to make content and motion look a bit smoother. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro both run on the top-end Snapdragon 865 chipset paired with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage options. That chipset has an adjacent 5G modem. One of the most important features of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is the 108MP main camera which takes fantastic pictures and supports 8K video recording like the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro has a 20MP ultra-wide camera and two telephoto lenses one of these is 8 megapixel and supports 10x hybrid zoom and the other is 12 megapixel with 2x optical zoom which is used for portrait mode. Pictures taken with the phone looks great and delivers great dynamic range and color accuracy. It also have a 20 megapixel front facing camera which is a pretty decent resolution for selfie snapper. It comes with 4500 mAh battery capacity. This phone has a 50W fast charging, 30W wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging which lets you use the device as a wireless power mat for other devices. Xiaomi has a reputation for producing quality phones at affordable prices and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G is another example of that.